Hey Calvary kids, what's going on? Welcome back to Wednesday Nights with Nick and Fritz. Fritz. Hey guys! How you doing? I'm doing good. How good. are you guys doing? I'm doing good. I'm a little bit tired today, Fritz, but I'm doing good. Ah, same, same. Yeah, that's usually the case. So, we are going to pick up right back where we left off in Acts chapter 9. Fritz, you ready for that? I'm so excited! Are you guys ready? Alright, let's go. We are in Acts chapter 9, verses 10 through 31, and we're continuing the story about Saul. Now, if you remember where we left off last week, Saul was blind, and he was headed to this town called Damascus, and so that's where the story ended. Saul is in Damascus, and here we pick it up with a guy named Ananias. Can you say that name for me, Fritz? Ananias. And yes, Ananias, and God speaks to him and says, Go to this man named Saul. Now, if you guys remember, right, Fritz? Yeah. Saul was a bad man. He wanted to kill people that were following Jesus. So bad. And Ananias said, whoa. God, I've heard some bad things about this guy named Saul. Are you sure you want me to go? And God re replied and he said, go. Wow. It sounded like God yelled at him. Well, I don't know if he yelled at him, Fritz, but he was definitely very, very clear in the fact that he wanted Ananias to go to Saul. Oh, so it's kind of like when your parents ask you to do something that's really important, and you're all like, oh, I don't want to do it. But then they're like, you need to do it. That's and you're like, okay. Yes, Fritz, that's exactly right. Like when your parents won't let you eat cookies for breakfast. Yeah. It's something that we want to do, but probably something that we shouldn't do. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. So we're picking up our story in Acts 9 verses 17. That's where we're going to go to. So Ananias went and found Saul. He laid his hands on him and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road, has sent me so that you might regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instantly, something like scales, like fish scales, fell from Saul's eyes and he regained his sight. Whoa! Fritz, what do you think about that? Fish scales falling from Saul's eyes? That's crazy. Like, fish were falling from his eyes? It, it might have been... Okay, well, no. Fish weren't falling from his eyes. But oh. the Bible says something like scales falling from his eyes. Oh. Pretty cool stuff. That's crazy. But our story is just getting started today. So Saul, this person that was breathing murderous threats towards Christians, the Bible says, is all of a sudden a Christian, right? Yeah. And... He wants to be teaching the gospel. That's what God has called him to do. So he does this in Damascus, but guess what, Fritz? What, what? Some people don't really like what he's saying because they can't prove him wrong. They want to, but they just can't do it. So wow. just like Saul tried to kill Christians, now people want to kill him. Pretty oh. crazy. Tables have turned. The tables have turned. Wow. So he gets word of these people trying to kill him in Damascus, and he gets let out of the city wall by a basket. Can you believe that? I can, it's like I can see it. Just being lowered down in a basket. That's crazy. Wow. Crazy. So Saul is in Damascus. He escapes with his life through a city wall by a basket. And then he goes to Jerusalem. And that's where our story for today ends. So Saul goes to Jerusalem, he finds the apostles, and at first, they don't really know what to think. But eventually, he starts teaching others about Jesus with them. Pretty cool, right Fritz? That's so cool, thank you for sharing, Nick. Of course, and, and the reason we're sharing this story is because there's a lot of things that Saul was scared of, right? Like scared of people trying to kill him. Yeah. I would be scared of that, would you? For sure. I get scared crossing the road. Oh yeah, for sure. So there's a lot of things that we're scared of, but Fritz, what's our bottom line for today? The bottom line is knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. That is exactly right. And that's what happened with Saul. Knowing Jesus helped him face his fears. He was determined and focused on preaching the good news of Jesus, even though he was scared. What have you ever been afraid of, Fritz? Um, heights. Like, you know, you go to a tall slide and you go to go down it, but it's like, it's so high. And if you fell, you like, you get hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't like heights. Heights can be really scary. Yeah. But we want to ask you the same question, Calvary Kids. What are you afraid of? And how can knowing Jesus help you face those fears? 
Fritz, thanks for joining us again today on Wednesday night. So much fun. So much fun. We hope to see you guys back here next week, but until then, have a great week. Bye.